elsewhere online as a sour telling that's a sour telling and that's my username on instagram and also on ravelry where you can also find the ravelry group for the crimson stitchery for further discussions and more fun today i'm really delighted to announce the launch of my first sock knitting pattern, the Red Brick Socks. This is a pair of socks which you'll have seen if you've watched all the way back to my first and second episodes of the Crimson Stitchery podcast. And it's really thanks to you guys and your encouragement that I've been able to develop this into a knitting pattern and offer it now for sale on Ravelry. So in this video, I'm gonna tell you a little bit more about the pattern and what you might expect. And there's also a discount code available. So do keep watching through to the end of the video in order to find out what that is. Show notes for this video and all episodes are found underneath this video down bar in YouTube so if you click the little arrow button um, it will expand and pop out with all of the links for you to follow there. So um, here are the red brick socks. <laughs> Hooray! I first knit this pair of socks back in January um, in this pink yarn here, which was a new to me yarn that I found in the shop and decided to give it a go because it's not a standard four ply slash fingering weight sock yarn. It's a slightly heavier sport or very light DK weight sock yarn that requires a larger needle, um, a larger stitch gauge and as a result of that, it knits up much, much quicker. And this is really exciting to me. So I knit up this sock pattern here. And honestly, it was so fast. Um, so this yarn is Novita Nala, which is a Finnish yarn um, containing wool and polyamide. So perfect for socks. It's going to be really robust and hard wearing. I was initially concerned that knitting with a sport or light DK sock yarn might make a pair of socks that were really thick, but that actually hasn't turned out to be the case at all. Um, this yarn is really springy, bouncy, it has loads of elasticity in it, it conforms to the shape of the foot really nicely, it's really comfortable to wear and I really recommend it. So I've got a link to this yarn in the show notes below this video if you want to check it out and um, find out more about it and see what colours are available. Um, so this is a Finnish yarn and I understand that it's really commonly available in Finland but it is also available to purchase online and it's really not very expensive at all, um, it's lovely to knit with and makes a pair of socks in no time. I definitely knitted this pair of socks much quicker than I normally would have. So following my first videos, I asked you guys what you thought about um, having a sock pattern in a heavier weight wool and some people said that that was a brilliant idea because I'd love to, you know, get the speedy socks going and other people said that they preferred using a heavier weight sock yarn anyway. However, lots and lots of people did comment and say that they did prefer to stick to a standard four ply and fingering weight sock yarn, which if you're a sock knitter, if you're a regular sock knitter, you've probably got quite a fair few balls of that lying around in your stash in your knitting storage as it is. So I decided to create a second version of the pattern, knit using a four ply sock yarn. So this pair of socks uses um, West Yorkshire Spinner's signature four ply, which is a really lovely basic, you know, workhorse, standalone yarn. Because the fingering weight is a finer yarn than the sport weight, obviously the pattern is very slightly smaller in scale and the texture of the socks is slightly finer as well. So it's more what you'd, you'd um, it's maybe more what you're used to. So this yarn is West Yorkshire Spinner's signature four ply in the shade Nutmeg. And it really does look like a little <laughs> piece of nutmeg that you might grate onto a pudding, which is really fun. And both socks feature this, exactly the same stitch pattern, the red brick sock stitch pattern, um, which is really fun, enjoyable, soothing and relaxing stitch pattern to knit. So you'll memorise it very quickly and you can just enjoy plowing through the sock. You know, it's really, really intuitive. You can just trust your instincts while you're knitting. Just go ahead and create a beautiful contribution to your sock knitting wardrobe. So as well as being offered in two yarn weights, the pattern has a further feature, which is that I've written the pattern for both cuff down sock and a toe up one. So you can choose the direction of sock knitting that you prefer, or if you fancy an adventure, you can go for that too. The heel that I've included on both the cuff down and toe up is a traditional slip stitch heel flap with a short row heel and a gusset. This is my favourite type of heel to knit because I find that it fits me really well. Um, the shape that it produces mimics the shape of a foot really nicely. But if you don't fancy this heel, 
it can be swapped out really easily for whatever you prefer, whether that's an afterthought heel or a short row heel. Um, you could also do the heel flat and the contrasting heel in a different colour. And in fact, for me, you know, it's called the red brick sock. So the idea is that it's a real staple in your sock drawer, in your wardrobe, and hopefully in your rotation of knitting patterns too. So to reflect that, I've chosen these solid colourways of yarn to knit with. But I would be really interested in seeing what they'd look like in tonal yarns, maybe hand dyed, things with speckles, because I feel like the stitch pattern might pick up um, different colours really, really nicely. So, a few people commented asking if I would host a knit along for these socks. And as I mentioned in episode six of my longer podcast video, The Crimson Stitchery, I'm planning that this is going to be the first of an instalment of three knitting patterns, forming the Building Blocks sock collection. So the red brick socks is going to be instalment number one. Um, I would love to host a knit along if there's any interest. So if you'd like to join in a knit with me on Instagram or in our Ravelry group, do comment below this video and let me know. Meanwhile, you can use the hashtag, hashtag red brick socks on Instagram and also hashtag the Crimson Stitchery so I can see the projects that you've been working on. And if you join our Ravelry group, do add your project into the group as well so that we can all see and enjoy what you've coming up with. So, how to get this pattern? This pattern is available on Ravelry only and it's a downloadable PDF. And for the first week of the pattern releases, for the next seven days, there is a discount code available for the first week for you guys to enjoy too. And the discount code is thank you. All one word, no space, the word thank you for supporting me, for encouraging me. And also thank you for enjoying this first sock pattern that I've created. So yeah. Hope you enjoy the sock. Do click the link below to hop over to Ravelry. The sock yarns that I've used in the pattern are also listed below for you, for you to consider. Um, leave a comment, let me know if you'd like to join in on the knit along and just let me know what you think. So I hope that you enjoy my first sock pattern. Thanks so much and see you soon. Bye bye.